everybody. This is uh, Lacey. I'm and Drew. We are in your upline and we're really excited to share with you and really excited about what Laura is doing with you. I hope you guys are all um, enjoying that. She's um, a great leader to do that with you. So anyway, um, she asked us to share a short video about our why and so we are going to try to do that. <laughs> um, although um, that always changes a little bit as time goes on. So um, when it first started for me, um, I think the real thing that you have to find is focus. Um, and I think that sometimes we get a little bit um, overwhelmed by the notion of having a why. You know, some people have a great why, like they want to um, get out of debt or they want to pay off their mortgage or, you know, maybe they have a handicapped child and they want to be able to pay for something for the child or something like that. And those are all really great whys. Um, but when I started, I had nothing like that at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. My why or focus, I should say, at the time was to get the first level power of three which sounds kind of selfish, but you know, I knew these products were amazing and that if I just shared them that people would come. So, um, so that was my first why, my first focus. And, um, and then from there, you know, as I used the oils more and heard more testimonies, the vision kind of grew and, um, I enjoyed doing the classes and, um, having people over and going and teaching and, um, you know, I seemed to be catching on to that. And so I started to think, well, you know, I could do this and pay for some of the projects that we have going on around the farm. Um, and you know, we had to buy fencing and goats and sheep and, you know, everything costs money. I don't know if you've ever farmed, but if you have, it's not cheap. <laughs> um, or haven't, it's not cheap. Um, anyway, so that was really my first, that propelled me forward. And, um, you know, Drew's why I think really for me in the beginning, he, it wasn't Wait, that he, he, well, I'm, I'm just <laughs> catching people up because in the beginning we were, weren't, you know, he wasn't doing the business with me at all. It was just me, but he, I mean, he encouraged me, but he really was trying to encourage me because he didn't want me to do the other thing I was doing, which was selling used furniture. Um, cause that resulted in me carrying used furniture. <laughs> <laughs> right. And it was not quite as, uh, conducive to, to having all these kids that we have. So anyway, um, so yeah, that was another motivation. I also saw that the paychecks from, from doTERRA were growing much faster than they were with um, the other business that I had going on. So um, that was another why. You know, I just saw the potential. And you know, my focus was really on maximizing that potential and not missing an opportunity. And now, I mean, I, there's still an element of that. That still is sort of a focus for me. I do not want to miss an opportunity to do good for somebody. I don't want to miss an opportunity to do good for my family. Um, and in focusing on that, um, my husband has been able to recently sell his job, or his uh, job is the right word, but sell his, um, his other business. Um, I will say in his other business, he sold... Um, home theaters and security systems. And so we had a kind of an understanding of what residual income was like, um, because when you sell a security system, you know, they pay monthly. And, um, and so we got that. And um, his big goal with that was to earn enough to cover our mortgage, $1,000 a month. Um, and we spent three years. Three years, yeah. Getting to that point. And that yeah. was our why with that business, was yeah. if we could just cover our mortgage with the security monitoring. And yeah. I worked my butt off <laughs> to get... <laughs> Three years to yeah. get to there. Yeah. And then Lacey, in a few months, well, year. It was it was a year, year, year and a half, her check started being more than that. And that's that's what really got my attention, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then when he got on board, you know, the why starts changing from this is a smarter, you know, from, from this is we can buy some things, we can do some things to the house we couldn't do before, to this is a way better place to invest our time and resources than in the other business he was building. Um, and so it became a joint effort. And, um, and you know, now our, our visions and our focus are really just to, to keep sharing oils, to keep giving the opportunity to other people. Of course, we have our own personal goals, but... Um, they really aren't what motivate me day to day. You know, hitting a rink is not what gets me up in the morning. Um, and even a paycheck is not what gets me up in the morning. What gets me up and excited about uh, what I do is the potential for reaching somebody who needs these and, and their life could be changed by it. So, um, of course, we have, you know, big dreams of things that we're, we'll do. The farm, there's, you know, this ever-growing list of things that we could do and opening it to a community or... Um, you know, growing it for our family's future and planting orchards and vineyards and things like that. But, um, you know, ultimately, 
with doTERRA, the reason that doTERRA is our path to that is because we love what we're doing. If, you know, I could make a ton of money or we could make a ton of money doing something else, but if it wasn't something we could have the same passion about, then, um, we would quickly lose interest. So, you know, four and a half years in now and um, still going strong. So uh, that I hope is helpful. It's a little longer than I thought it was going to be. The time freedom was a huge thing for me too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I tell people now, basically I'm a stay at home dad. You know, most mornings I get up about seven thirty, eight 8 o'clock with the kids. We eat breakfast together. I take the our 16 month old out on the porch on these nice days and we look at the animals and then walk around the property and do some little farm chores here and there but and I definitely work I work a lot to doing doTERRA things but I I there's not a certain time I have to do it and mm -hmm. it's it's amazing to be just a dad that gets to spend all this time with his kids um and you've probably seen pictures of me at events and stuff like that when we had uh, Abraham as a newborn baby, you know, I carried him everywhere. And it's been huge for me to um, have that experience of bonding with him to the point where, you know, like even it was kind of eye opening. The one time somebody pointed out, you know, when the kids have a nightmare at night, they call out for data. And it's just kind of, it's an amazing thing to have that experience. So that's, that's been a huge part of my why too, is just to continue and maintain that time freedom in that relationship with the kids yeah and basically our life right now sometimes we talk about going on trips and stuff and we we do we travel more than we ever would have before but um I almost don't really want to travel because our life is really nice you know our home is really nice our home is a vacation place you know and our lives are really kind of a vacation so it's, it's we've kind of gotten to that point of um of that you know of, you know you don't want to to quit your job or leave your job to go on vacation because it's what we love. So anyway, that's it. Um, I hope. So what's your what's your why now? My why? Yeah. Why well, I said I don't know. I'm motivated by sharing the oil, by helping people, by achieving that goal. I mean, we've talked about this having a community type living situation. Let's like. Um, I don't want to say commune. There's actually kibbutz is kind of more what I have a vision for, which is they have these working farms over in Israel. I think there are a few in these states too, but where people work together on an apple farm or whatever, and they produce enough food for the people that live there, but also to sell. And I mean, it's just, that is kind of the, the ultimate vision to have that kind of community for our family. And anyway, what about you? My wise, I guess the main one now is the opportunity to to work with a charity we've kind of started doing that and you know been able to really see some huge results just from what we've been able to donate which is something i never really thought about and it's honestly really humbling so i i hope to really continue to be able to do that and do more of that yeah and education we love education we love um for ourselves but also to offer education to people that they may not get otherwise whether it's you know, we had a soap making course recently, or we've taught some beekeeping, beekeeping classes, or, you know, I mean, I really want to take basket weaving. I mean, there's just like some silly things that, that we think are really fundamental and parts of um, our history that people don't get to experience and that we want to bring back and to uh, make available to people. So that's, uh, that's another part. Um, so, and the oils fit right in that. So it's perfect. Uh, anyway. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks, Laura, for giving us a chance to share. Um, it's good for us to do that. <laughs> We, we hit on some some things today. Okay. Anyway, all right. Love you guys. Keep up what you're doing.